Okay, in this video, we'll be talking about the sum of all the positive whole numbers. But no, we are not going to talk about negative 1 over 12 because we did that in previous video already. So just check that out video. And let me just tell you guys that I did not come up with the following method. A student of mine showed me this after I made them watch the negative 1 over 12 video, which is really ironic. And then the answer right here is actually not going to be negative 1 over 12 neither. So check this out. I'll show you guys two approaches as well. First of all, we'll call this right here to be a sum. I'll just call that to be S right here. And here we go. Right here, I will leave the 1 as how it is. And then I will be adding up 2, 3, and 4. Add them up, we get 9. So this is 1 plus 9. And even though I know 1 plus 9 is 10, but I'll just leave it like this. And then next, we will be adding 5, 6, and 7. Add them up, you get 18. So we have plus 18 here. And the next, I'll be adding up 8, 9, and 10. Well, that will be 27. And you can guess it because the next one is going to be 36 when you add this up. Yes, that will be correct. Plus 36. And pretty much so on, so on, so on. So I just put on plus dot, dot, dot like this. And this right here is still equal to S, of course. So I just put on this is equal to S. First of all, let me just talk about this right here real quick. When you add three consecutive integers, if the middle one is a multiple of three, then the sum will be a multiple of nine. How do we see it? You can look at this as three times k, and this right here will be three k minus one, and this right here will be three k plus one. Add them up, you get nine k, so that's a multiple of nine. That's it. Yes, all the numbers in red, they are all multiple of nine. And here you get one, I can factor out the 9. So let's just put on 9 right here. And you see, when you factor out 9, you will get 1. And then the next one is plus 2. And then the next one is plus 3. And then the next one is plus 4. And plus so on, so on, so on, right? And this is, of course, still equal to S. And because of the dot, 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 this right here is the same as the original. Okay? So, you see, this right here is still the same as this S. So, we can put this down. This is 1 plus 9 S. And that's equal to S. Aha! What can we do from here? Yes, solve the equation. Minus 9 S on both sides. So, we get 1 equal to negative 8 S. And may I ask you what S is? Just divide it by negative a on both sides, right? So as you can see, s, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus dot dot dot. This right here is negative 1 over 8. Wow. Woohoo. Look at that. And I'll show you guys another way to look at this as well. Earlier, I talked about multiple of 3. This time, let's talk about multiple of 5. The middle number, I mean. So let's look at 5 first. And I want to talk about the sum of 5 numbers right here. So I will go from 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right? And then I will pair, I will just uh, group this together. And then I'll group this 5 numbers together. This is why I end up with 17. So as you can see, I will first call this to be S, just like that. And then, of course, 1 plus 2, I'm going to work that out to be 3. When you add 5 numbers, if the middle one is a multiple of 5, then the sum will be a multiple of 25. So this right here is going to be plus 25. Next one, add them up, you get plus 50. Next one, it's the next multiple of 25, which is plus 75. And this right here will keep on going forever. Equals to S. Yes, factor out of 25. So you get 3 plus 25. And then right here, yes, it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus da da da. This is equal to S. This is also equal to S. So we have 3 plus 25. S equals S. Minus 25 on both sides, we get 3 equals negative 24s. Well, s is what then? s 
is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus da da da. This right here is also equal to, once you divide negative 24 on both sides, reduce the fraction, you get negative 1 over 8. So, what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Is it negative 1 over 8 or is it negative 1 over 12? Anyway, that's it. Hopefully you guys all like this. 